Okay, hey, it's Bill the Handyman. How you doing? Uh, I'm working on a Kenmore. Kenmore, it's broken. Repairman's on the way. Okay, so we got the keys. First thing we need to do is take this thing apart. So, this key will unscrew basically. Once we get that unscrewed, we take the top off here. There may be a nut under here we have to take loose. We can take the top panel, the front panel off. I've already checked the back thermal fuse. There's no kinks in the in the line. And so we're going to take the front panel off and see what we got inside. Trouble. Okay, we got the top off. So this is a, this is the bolt that goes inside the strong box thing. You have to take that bolt off. Then you can open it up. Take that lock off. Screws here, there, and you can pull the front panel off. Okay, here's your disclaimer guys. Don't try this at home. Consult your local professional. Now this door switch here. You gotta be careful with that. And then we have to take the belt off. Let's see if we can get any light on the subject here. Well basically it wraps around there like so. And here's your idler. Miler looks good. I'm gonna take the drum out. <laughs> drum out. Take a look back here. We can see there's a little bit of lint built up in here. Rollers look good. So it's probably gonna be one of these valve coils. My guess. We're looking for continuity on this continuity between these two and then continuity on these between uh, the side ones and the middle ones motor seems good there's no slop in the armature back and forth um, this one does have a little problem here so starting to fall apart there we need to get another one of those okay so this one has a bad igniter and you pull these apart here. There's a little clip you have to kind of pry under this to get it open. And then you look in here. Um, you might be able to look in there and see that. And see there's a crack in it. But what I do is. I take the ohm meter and I just see if I got any continuity between those two terminals. And this one did not have any continuity so we need new uh a new igniter and you want to check this uh the flame tube here make sure that little spoon on the top is in good shape that spoon is not in good shape then you will burn your igniters out prematurely but uh i don't have an igniter right now so i'm gonna have to come back on this one but thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe i also teach how to uh make money in the appliance repair business training course um, I take two students per year. I give you uh, one year's coaching, my personal business business experience, and a link to over 100 repair videos. And I give con consultations over the phones uh, for $39, 707-443-8347.